Graham, talk to me about this uh, smart scope machine. There seems a lot going on here. There is. Um, with this particular unit, this is the Vantage 450. Um, system that we have. So if you look, if you're typical of the measurement area on this unit, uh, we have a 600 millimeter by 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter in the Z. So you can see it's quite a, a mid-sized machine as such, but it's got fourth and fifth axis on there as well as. So the primary sensor on this machine is optics. On top of that, you can then have tactile measurement, and on top of that, you can have laser. So it's kind of one fits all. It can do pretty much everything when it comes to measuring parts then. Absolutely. When companies are specifying equipment, sometimes companies will look at two or three or four different types of products. This one machine fits all. Um, how does that weigh up in cost, for example? I mean, would it be cheaper to buy four different machines? And would that allow you to do four different parts at once? So there can be a benefit to that. Absolutely. Am I right or wrong? Um, again, it's down to the application. But with this machine, you can still multi-load. Uh, you could run a single part as we're currently doing on the machine at the moment. But the main thing about, as I mentioned earlier, in any conversation, it's all about throughput. So the more you're doing optical measurement, the more you're using the laser, the more throughput you'll get. Then you talk about the justification on this particular product. Even though there might be a high number on this product, there certainly is a great justification to purchase one. Mm. Um, I want to learn more about actually what's going on here. I mean, we see uh, a, a touch probe now yeah. being brought into the equation. Sure. So Walk me through the different areas of the machine. Yeah, sure. So the first thing we'll say is that our primary sensor is optics. So all of our calibration always goes back to the optics of the machine. We then can add on tactile measurement. So if a company has some holes on the side of a part that we can't physically see in one hit with the optics, then we can use tactile measurement. And when you say optics, you're talking about cameras? It's a camera-based system, absolutely right, yeah. And when I talk about optics as well, this, with this particular unit, we have telecentric optics on there. So what that basically means for any company that's producing a turn component, for instance, if you put too much light on a part, you, you know, you, you can actually make the component grow or shrink by lighting. But by telecentric optics, it eliminates uh, the problem of warning effects you would have with some traditional technology. OK, so we've got optics, we've got touch probe. But we've also got a laser as well. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So where would that fit in? Give so when, again, when companies are looking at profile um, measurement in the Z of the machine, this is when a laser really comes in on its own. We have a generous working distance with a laser up to 200 millimetres. So we can get down some really serious deep bores and to the bottom of a deep bore to find out actually what's happening, especially with a blind bore. Um, we can really look at the surface at the bottom and give information back about it. Okay, this is incredible. And then you've got this fourth and fifth axis unit, Absolutely. so you can then turn the part to whatever position you need in order to be able to see a feature. Absolutely. So again, with the fourth and fifth axis, all the axis system is carried around on the component. Uh, this is topped up by some simple 3D Zone 3 software where operators can integrate information back into CAD and also get information back to design much quicker than traditional technologies. What about the confidence this would give your customer by having this machine? There's a big win there because I can imagine if I was putting my parts out mm -hmm. and I knew they were being um, checked in this way, you can be pretty assured you're going to get a good part back. Absolutely, 100%. Backed up with a UCAS calibration on these machines as well, so you know for a fact that the machine is performing as it should. Uh, we are constantly engaged R and R studies on the, the actual machine and the measurement capabilities. Data can be stored into a, a, a you know a database as such from this machine and other machines. Um, the actual size of this and the weight of it and, and and it being able to handle different environmental factors, you need that in order to make sure you're measuring the part correctly as well. Absolutely, but bearing in mind this is just a, a range of four different type of vantage units. Uh, there is a, a larger version than this and there's other smaller versions as well uh, and that again is down to the business case on the size of the component you are measuring. Uh, this just goes to show how capable OGP are as a business doesn't it and as a product range. 100%. Um, we keep saying to everybody in the marketplace come and challenge us. We have products here that will measure components you may be struggling to measure by traditional methods.